Hello, my name's Mel, welcome to my world. And if you're new to my channel, it's all about self-built DIY camper vans. And at the moment, I'm looking for a new project. And earlier on in the week, I went down to a salvage yard to have a look at some salvage vans. These vans have been written off by insurance companies or they've suffered some kind of major mechanical catastrophe. So that's what I was doing this week and that's in the previous video. Now, if you have seen that previous video, you'll know that I looked at four different vans and out of those four, I one that really caught my eye had some prop shaft damage. Well, since filming that, I've been back down to have another look. I wanted to have a good look without a camera so that I could really concentrate on what I was doing. And I'm so pleased I went back down there. Um, I took some advice from a mechanic. He said to me, make sure you check the gearbox. So that's what I did. I went back down there, started the engine up, checked the gearbox, and sure enough, I'd struggled to get it in third and fifth gear. So something definitely going wrong with the gearbox. Also, on closer inspection underneath, that I could notice that the rear of the van, because it was parked right close behind another van, they were literally touching each other, both bumpers, so they couldn't really see the back bumper properly. And the reason they've done that is to stop people looking underneath, I think. I don't know if they've done it deliberately, but it certainly um, stopped me from seeing the back of the van. And it turned out that the back of the van has actually suffered an impact as well because the rear chassis rail on one side was actually bent right down. So if I wanted to fit a tow bar to that van, and I do want to fit a tow bar to my next project, but more about that later. But anyway, it would be impossible really to fit a tow bar in a safe way because the chassis rail where the tow bar would attach was actually facing down at a 45 degree angle so i'm not going to be bidding on that van either and i'm a little bit weary now whether to bid on any of the vans so yeah but i'm still going to film it though i'm still going to film those four vans going through because i've had so many people request that that's what i do so that to follow up on that first video this is like a conclusion if you like ring c just how much those vans actually sell for. So that's what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna spin the camera around, face it at my laptop, and we'll watch those vans go through the auction. No now this one was the one that was really smelly inside. And just about every panel on this van was damaged. And it says on the description that it's rear-ended rear end damage. Back doors are bashed in a bit but um, it comes with optional seating in the back <laughs> but it started up fine and it says it drives but when they say it runs and drives the, in the description it does mean it literally started up and they drove it forward about a foot. As you can see the side is all damaged it's up to 2300 pounds still cheap because out of the four that I looked at, this one is probably the one that you could drive out. No probably the only one that you could actually drive out of there. $24.50. This is a hot lot. This is a hot lot. <laughs> You're right. Twenty five five zero, and it says on here that oh wait a minute, just wait for it to finish. Bonus time. It says estimated retail value seven thousand two hundred pound, and um, they're probably not far off. So that makes this quite a good bargain, really. Sold on approval. Oh, sold on approval. So that means. It didn't actually sell, there's a reserve on it. So we'll see if it's there again next week. So there you go, this is my favourite one I think because um, the interior actually smelt like it was brand new still despite the mileage. Um, yeah, just something about it, it was like really clean. But here we go, it's just at 1500, 1600, 1650. This is a uh, 2012 Bonus time. van, so yeah, quite cheap, but it has got a little bit of damage on the front. <laughs> it's just a flesh wound. Sold, Sold for £1,600. Bargain. 
So this is the van that started it all. Oh look, someone in Cyprus is bidding on it. That's interesting. I wonder how they deliver vans to Cyprus. Cyprus again. Look at that. 1250, 1300, 1350, 1350 to Cyprus. If it wasn't for the rust on this van, I probably would be bidding on it, but it's just the rust just puts me off. How do they ship vans to Cyprus? 1550, oh, 1600. Still cheap. Bonus time. Oh, that winds me up. <laughs> Looks like it's going to sell for sixteen hundred pound. Bonus time. And the reason it's red is because I've been outbid because I did actually bid on this. Old. There you go. That was cheap. But like I say, just a little bit too much rust for my liking. So here's the sprinter. This one this is the one with the um undercarriage damage. Also it's been hitting the rear end. In the description it just says front end, but it's actually suffered quite a bad hit up the back as well. As you can see in this photograph, you can just see there the outrigger and the other one's facing down and that's where it's bent so £1,500 oh that's a better photo look this part here this is where the chassis rail at the back is bent and if you wanted to fit a tow bar on this you've got no chance so we go £1,600 it's interesting to see how these can suddenly get more and more and run up so I'll just shut up and let it run. <laughs> Remember, this is the one I wanted as well. Bonus time. This is really annoying, the bonus time. £1,700 so far. And somebody else has been. Like the last minute. Also, the gearbox isn't that good in this van either. So, is it cheap? Bonus time. Eighteen hundred pound for a van with a knackered gearbox, a knackered prop shaft, and a bent rear chassis. I don't know if that's cheap or not. I don't think I want to bid on it, <laughs> that's for sure. I know one thing for sure, somebody's going to be very disappointed. Sold, Sold for £1,800. God blimey, who's state of that? Well, there you go, probably the cheapest place to buy a van on the planet, but most definitely, most definitely the most riskiest as well i mean the risks are huge you really are taking a gamble when you buy a van from a salvage auction and i wish the people all the best luck in the world the ones that brought those vans to die because <laughs> if they didn't go and inspect them before they bid on them i think they're all going to be very disappointed especially that one with a bent prop shaft it wasn't only the prop shaft that was bent it was the chassis as well and if i hadn't gone down and physically looked at that van for the second time probably would have bid on it as well and it did go for a really reasonable price so i'm so pleased that i went down there and physically looked at that van again and that's the best bit of advice i think i could give anyone that's thinking about buying salvage is to physically go there and look at the vehicle before you bid don't just go on those little photographs online because they simply don't cut the mustard and the description is so vague You'd be crazy to bid online without physically going there first and looking at the vehicle. You really are taking a massive gamble. So yeah, please do, if you're considering buying salvage, physically go to the salvage yard 
and look at the vehicles that you're interested in. Now, would I buy a van from the salvage auction? Yes, I probably will because the savings are quite good. Um, but again, like I say, I would never bid just purely on the photographs. So next week, I'll definitely be going back down there to look at some more vans. Um, in fact, I've already got one lined up. And I'm really interested in it. It definitely ticks all the boxes. And I'll, if, if it checks out okay, I will be bidding on that van next week. So if you want to see that, don't forget, if you haven't subscribed already, please do subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you won't miss me buying another van. And <laughs> I'm getting desperate now because I want to start another project before the summer's gone. <laughs> well, thanks for watching. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Most importantly, leave a comment below. Feel free to talk among yourselves. And I'll see you next time. Ta-da for now.